welcome back lovely people. Not only do I do films on climate change and crop circles, I also like getting my hands dirty. My background is as an art student, I did sculpture, metalwork in Sheffield, the birthplace of steel and industry. So I have this fantastic workshop in our old water mill here in France, but today I'm having a bit of a problem. Let's see if you and I can get to the bottom of the flexible cut mystery. And the issue I'm having today is with a chop off wheel, the uh, abrasive type, I'm not getting a square cut on this narrow gauge stock, square tube stock. When I'm cutting it down at 45 degrees, the actual blade twists. And here is the problem. If you look at this, that is not square. You can see that. Let's have a look at that in close up. What happens is when the abrasive wheel cuts, it flexes. So I'm not getting a good cut. You can see again there not square. So my solution is to use my horizontal bandsaw. Now it's a perfect level cut, so that's good for welding. And that's what I want from the chop saw. How am I going to make that work? Well, I have an idea. Enter the Evolution Solid Blade Chop-Off Saw. So this is something I've never done before. <laughs> it's called an unboxing. Well, my first impressions are the actual saw looks very small. But that should be pretty good for what I need. Let's give it a try. So out with the old and in with the new. So this is the cut after the evolution saw and you can see that's pretty good. Now I wouldn't say it's as good as the horizontal band saw but there's no flexibility in it and I would say that's pretty well 45. Let's look at that at a different angle. I think that's pretty good. Would you agree? So, I think that really works. The Evolution wheel is solid, so it doesn't flex. So I'm getting a pretty good 45 degree. And I do a lot of this steel square tube stock construction in the house and in the yard. So those are my first impressions. I now believe that the Evolution Carbide Tipped Not A Sponsor Cut-Off Wheel is better than the abrasive wheel, which tends to flex when you get to 45 degrees. That's no damn good. And I really like using my horizontal bandsaw at 90 because I do a lot of 90 degree cuts and I don't want to keep on moving it. So if I can have the Evolution at a good 45, where's my other piece? at a good 45, I can leave it set up for doing these kind of cuts and uh, get on and build stuff. Now, fantastic tip that I got from uh, Matt at Urchfab, who's building the wonderful mongrel car and now he's building a motorbike. Good on Matt. 
When doing a 45 degree cut, bevel the edges slightly to give you a recess to actually weld into. Don't just leave it flush because if you leave it flush, your weld is just going to be on the top surface. And then when you grind it down to make it look pretty, you grind off the weld. So um, grind a little valley in all the uh, joins and then it will make a stronger weld. Good tip. Stay tuned. Become a subscriber again if you've recently left for more fun on the Professor Simon channel. The truth is out there.